but it it is. Uh, is I, it, I think there's a uniform code. You know, like you well, get the fined. Yankees, you get fined if your socks aren't pulled up in the NFL. You get yeah. fined if your shirt's not tucked in. I think you should get fined if your hat's crooked. Well, Jeter it never, serves a purpose right. when it's straight. Yeah, Jeter never did. Jeter was always a guy. He always wore his Yankee hat and the Yankees. The Yankees were always the class act organization yeah. that had a code, and they got to enforce it right now. Yeah. They have to enforce it. I mean, they it. have if, to if, shave, right? If, they have to well, shave. Well, the, uh, that's uh, – do the Yankees have that currently, the shave? I, I think did. they do. Yeah. Yeah, nobody has a mustache, I guess, I, I, that I know. But, you know, the, the Red Sox certainly don't. Those – those bunch of ne'er do wells. Uh, yeah, you can have a mustache, right? Nobody has R- Raleigh fingers anymore. I miss those days. Yeah, right. Raleigh fingers, absolutely. Well, hey, you knew Raleigh fingers from the eighties. Exquisite mustache. Nice, great, like. 80s. That annoyed the hell out of me too. If you want to go back to an old school thing that annoyed me, that annoyed me too. Mike, Ra- is that a child size hat? No, I got. He's having like five different kind of hats. It's awesome. Who sent you that? Uh, this guy John from. Uh, he he went to Virginia Tech, but he's in. Uh, very nice guy. Those hokies. How do you know? Really into it. He sent me stuff, like I said, different five different kind of hats. So How nice. do you know he's a nice but, guy? But maybe that's a kid's hat. No, it's not a kid's hat. This is a larger thing. It's not fitting your head. I like it, though. I don't care. <laughs> did you? Is that what you did in place of showering? No. <laughs> I showered, then I put this on. There's you guys, no way you showered. Oh, yeah. Oh, please. Okay. Absolutely Whatever. not. Okay, maybe. Uh, maybe See, Shane's got the hat crooked. It's crooked. Look at No, they all Everybody's do. got. See, <laughs> I don't mind on Dan, because Dan, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> Dan, it just looks funny. <laughs> Dan comes off as a douchebag. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some. It's not bugging me as much with you guys. I don't know why. Well, Flipper because just we looks know retarded. That, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> Flipper looks like a drunk who put his hat on. Yeah, he does. Right. But 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 with the Yankees, with the pitching, like I don't know. It's very oh, it's disturbing. Sabathia does it too. That fat bastard. <laughs> so what do you think? Was that pine tar on his hand? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh well, well, listen. He, he, Obvious. It looks like he got crucified. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? Yeah, like he had the stigmata. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looked yeah. like it looked like someone's gonna point a point a cross at him and yell stigmata. Yeah, I mean it was blatant. Yeah, like big, I mean how could that not affect splooch? Yeah, how could that not right affect here. the pitching? It's all over the ball. Yanks just lost, by the way, to the Red Sox. Well, the, the bottom line is. I, I, I hear that everyone knows that everyone who pitches has something that helps them grip the ball. Something going on. And yeah. so the reason that the Red Sox didn't bring it up is because they didn't want the uh, microscope turned on their pitching staff. Right. No, it's not like the old days where it was real blatant. The, the best ever was Joe Necro when the ump was checking his pants. Remember that? And he threw the yeah. file on the field. Yeah. <laughs> where the hell did he think no one was going to see that? Uh-huh. He just threw the file right on the field. He had a nail file this long that he kept on him. Uh You know, he couldn't use it on the field. What a lazy bastard. Just, you know, put it away at some point. Yeah, well, I'm sure they got some. I mean, look, they go out there. They still, you know, what's the rule? You can only, you can't touch your tongue on the mound. So what's the big deal if you touch it off the mound? Doesn't make any sense. Well, I didn't know that. You can't touch your tongue? Yeah, you can't, you can't lick your fingers. Wow. Unless it's like. What is the rule flipping? If it's if it's cold out, yeah, and they feel it. like you're going to need the grip, you can ask the umpire if you. But you have to let them know beforehand. Yeah. The ball. Wow. Yeah. That's that's bizarre to me. Well, you can really. It really to... does help your grip. Yeah. Spitting on your hands. I Absolutely. mean, I would spit on my hands before every play if I was catching a ball. Yeah. Well, and the spitball, you know, is outlawed for what reason? Who cares? Yeah. Let them throw it. Like that's such a yeah. big deal. I think we're going to find that everybody was corking, on top of the steroids, corking their bats. Everybody corked their bats in the 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. There was something going on. You get, I mean, people, if given the opportunity, people will cheat. A majority of people will cheat if given the opportunity. Did Hank Aaron cork his bat? I, I, I love Hank Aaron. I hate to say it, and I have no proof of this. I bet he did. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Boy, that'd be devastating if that came out. I went to, so my, my uncles took me to see Hank Aaron play when he was on the Brewers. 1976, his last season, and uh, they held me up to watch, to, to see him in the dugout. He's smoking a cigarette. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it was like watching Johnny Carson come back from commercial. He was like this. <laughs> wow. In the old days, Carson would come back when, he used to blatantly just smoke on the show, Johnny, but then when they couldn't do that, he'd come back from commercial like this. Uh-huh. All right, uh, James Conn is our next guy. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, they, they held, look, look, there he is, there's Sabathia, we'll show him. I could tell from the side his hat was crooked. 
I want to throw something at the TV. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so they, they they held me up on their shoulder to see Hank Aaron, and he was like this. He had a, like a big gut, yeah. big ass. Remember that big Hank Aaron ass at the end? Explosion. Out of and he did I not was. look good in that Brewer uniform. No, because he had that big ass. Yeah. His ass got enormous. That's good, though. That's where all your explosion comes well, from. Well, if you notice now, he's uh, when, when you see Hank Aaron now, he's got the big suit that goes over the ass. Because yeah. he's got a huge ass still. But, God, that guy could play. I love watching Hank Aaron play baseball. Uh, you know, and not talked about enough. I've I mean, never he'll... noticed his ass the way that you have. Uh, listen, to me, it's like Kim Kardashian. Wow. <laughs> He's the Kim Kardashian. You got Hank Aaron, Walter Matthau, Kim Kardashian. Those are the big asses. Really? Walter Matthau, too? Oh, he had a huge ass. You got to see Mike Francesa's ass. Really? Wow. Uh, I saw Francesa's ass at a, Sandy, uh, a Nick Spur game, or the finals. I went to the Knicks Spurs finals at the Garden in 99, and uh, I got a chance to uh, go in the VIP area, and Francesca was in front of me. I never saw an ass. It was, it's the size of your desk you guys are sitting at. <laughs> wow. He had to walk <laughs> sideways to get past Woody Allen and Sue Nee. <laughs> wow. Like, he, if he went this way, he would have hit Spike Lee and knocked him over. If he went this way, he would have hit Woody Allen. <laughs> Sue Nee was afraid yeah. of it like it was Godzilla or something. <laughs> That's <laughs> tough. That's tough for a man. Soon you looked at Francesca's ass like Godzilla. Wow. <laughs> she probably thought it was. Like womanly birth-giving hips. Thank you for helping with that joke. Oh, sorry. What? He's got womanly hips. He has womanly, yeah. If the That's woman... awful. If you're a guy and you've got the womanly hips. You know, did you ever see that? The ass Remember the Saturday Live sketch? That? Saturday Live sketch, the big ass family with Dan Aykroyd? Yeah. They all had enormous asses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looks like. He looks like the kid in there. Wow. That was the greatest. <laughs> sketch the big ass family and there was always one family that had an enormous ass that you were in high school with dan you have a pretty big ass really do i <laughs> not no, not abnormally big let's but see a big it dan ass. uh it's tough to tell you got what we here. call a chicago dumper <laughs> oh, i would have man on man sex no <laughs> oh wow <laughs> what did boschetti say about a-rod once too didn't boschetti say something well, about I was, uh, yeah I will make out with A-Rod. <laughs> I was, you said you'd make yeah. out with A-Rod. I was uh, pushed into that. No, you weren't. Uh, not at all. I was you just know, repeating the me message you guys put out there. Mike's ass I, is disappearing with his weight I, loss. I love Mike, how you, you got a big ass. You got a big everything, though. Like, it's shit. going away, though. I was watching your microphone. You, I can't believe we hear you when you're off your regular mic because you talk right into the fat. You talk right well, into your chin. Well, we're going to see tonight how much fat is going on. I can feel it. Yeah, we're going to weigh, weigh him. him. Yeah, let's weigh him now. Because you you gained weight last time. Yeah, and he was not happy. And you, you got so mad that you gained weight. Yeah, I've been working hard at this. What are you doing now? Don't take anything. What are you doing, Mike? Oh, I'm, Mike. I'm sure that that's 10 pounds. No, you never take anything right. off, Mike. Yeah, really. Leave well, it on. A, we don't want to see your pits. Leave it on. Uh, you know, well... That is a heavy oh, no. sweatshirt. That's a, that's a lot of fabric right there. <laughs> Taking his phone out. Hold on. Pocket. Yeah, your phone. Yeah. Okay. Now, did you just did you just say to me I have a big ass when? Then why your phone? There's no contacts in that phone. What do you hear? That means battery low. Doesn't mean your okay. weight. Okay. Step off. Step back on. Okay. What happened? Right. What happened? Okay. Well, he's been working the scale so much with his weight, the batteries are having a problem. He's lost weight. He's 306.4. Nice, oh, Mike. Yes. <laughs> He lost 0.8 pounds. No, no he, he was, was, he was like 30, 308 last time. I think I was 610. Or 609 last time. Right? 610? Six. No, no, 309. I think. No, you were, no, dude, you were, you were 308. Such a BS. You were 308. No, I was 309 or 30. You were 308. 308. No, I was 309. I know what I, I know my weight. No, we know it better. 308. Oh, I remember. It was 308 point something. You so lost 1.2 pounds. No, you lost a couple. It, which makes sense. That's good, Mike. And with that sweatshirt, yeah, you know, right, exactly. I, now, I don't count you're calories, back on really. track, bud. Now, did you did you just say I had a big ass because when we were back in my office and Chelsea was measuring you, I kept on going to my office. when she would give out your measurements. I go, whoa. Yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> uh, mine are big. What did you don't find hate. out your jacket size is? I just guessed a fifty. I mean, uh, I guess. I right? What was big. yours? Mine. Uh, I think the one that you wore was like a forty-eight. Oh, you okay. went to well, forty-six that, or forty-eight. Well, we that's gave her. Fit. I think That's you're fit. probably... I could say 40. I, 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 I bet I you're do, a 46. I got to tape the six home next week, and they're asking for my measurements. I hate all this crap. I don't, that means I got to wear a suit on the show, I guess. I haven't seen the full script yet. 